quite a strange path this because I find that there's some absolutely stunning little se sections and segments and then you come to these absolute brutalist bridges which have just been pure concreted and then you get another like metalised one like this which is surrounding the Olympic Stadium with a lock in it and you're like yeah someone's actually thought about this and tried to make it look good and this beautiful little old school canal bridge I mean yes it's urban but I think it's still quite a beautiful sight So I did just want to take a minute to sort of say why I'm doing these videos and why you should keep watching my channel hopefully and why I'm going to keep doing these videos but um, basically just came into 2021 and I really wanted something to make me do things like this get up in the morning before work go out for a lovely run while it's sunny and share that with people and show that what it does for me as a person it makes me happier and by doing these videos it each week it sort of gives me more incentive to actually get out each week and do it and document it and log it in my life um, basically a diary a vlog so um, hopefully on that journey I can give everybody a little bit of a snippet of what I like doing, where I like going, and you can learn something hopefully, and I can I can learn something, uh, and I just needed something else other than work to focus on. Uh, it's been such a tough year, and I think this has been this is something I've kind of wanted to do for quite a long time, but um, being in lockdown has actually given me that opportunity. So I'm taking that as a positive, and. Um, <laughs> And I'm gonna keep, try and keep doing these every week. It's getting quite tough with uh, nearing the end of lockdown now, but uh, like this week is really difficult incentive to get out and, and do something that makes me happy and puts a smile, smile on my face and gives me something outside of what to focus on. But uh, that's enough heart to heart. And um, hopefully you're enjoying the videos. Uh, please hit subscribe tell some friends never know word of mouth and um, we're gonna keep going this morning anyway and uh, hopefully enjoy the rest of the video So that's the, the orbit slide. Don't really like it as a piece of architectural sculpture, but it looks quite good in the sun actually to be fair. And just opposite me, opposite the little canal here, is the Olympic pool. Uh, designed by Zaha indeed. Pretty incredible inside. So here's the aquatic centre. It's amazing, like wooden cladding. You can see like the attention to detail on it. It's just fantastic. It just swoops around. This is the main entrance, but you can't see into the pool at the moment because it's still in lockdown. Pool's not open for another week. Oh, pretty cool. I'm gonna go up the canal now and have a look uh, at the velodrome as well.
there's actually a little uh, wetlands centre just on the other side of the, the canal here. So I'm going to take this bridge across, do a little bit of that, and then work my way up to the velodrome, as I said before. And, uh, So there's the Olympic legacy, pretty cool. Velodrome in the background, and then the whole of New Valley Park, Olympic Stadium right behind me. Pretty cool. Not a bad start to the day. So at the Velodrome, you can rent out uh, track bikes and actually have a little go on the track in there which is really cool, did it a couple of years ago but what I haven't done yet is two things which I quite want to do is one go on the mile loop track, road track which is on the outside and the second one is rent a mountain bike and try and check out some of the trails around here because I've never really done any mountain biking and I think it might be a nice little sort of entry level thing to do. So I'm gonna keep going. Here's the uh, a section of that road circuit. It's like a mile long, I think. And you go all the way around here and back down here. And then it goes half and loops around the velodrome. Olympic Legacy Hockey Beaches, Lee Valley Hockey and Tennis Centre. bit of nature in the middle of horrible urban trash. So this is a section of the path I did in my last video, I was along the Lee Valley Canal and River. And it's just going the opposite way, uh, northbound. But I just want to stop here. And this time last year when pre-COVID lockdown, it's exactly 12 months this week. This track was no wider than like your feet. It was completely overgrown. It was like real little secret trail in East London. 
lockdown happens, everybody wants to get out and discover their local area, which is amazing, and I, I, I think everybody should do it. Uh, but once that bit of nature, and now look at it, it's a full path. This is just so well worn with bikes and walking now that this will never recover, I don't think. Not, not, and um, not for a few years at least. So, has its positives and negatives, you know, people exploring, uh, which I'm obviously surprised, but it means that these little secret spots that I had <laughs> are now everybody's. <laughs> so, on that note, walking on this well trodden path in East London, I'm gonna call that video a day, get back home, go breakfast, and uh, get ready to see the day. So, hope you enjoyed the video, and um, hopefully, you can join me again next week for another video. And if you did enjoy the video, please give it a like, and uh, why not hit subscribe and uh, spread the word. <laughs>